Right, good morning. It's a Saturday morning. Morning. She joined me on the Hampshire Raven. Uh, started my little campaign of trying to catch Chubb out of every stretch. On the Salisbury ticket, uh, this is the top end of Parsonage Farm. The river is well up. I'm having to wear waders to gain access. Such is life. It's a nice bit of colour to it. However, it was a very cold and clear night last night, so I'm just having a quick bounce in here because it looked really nice. Possibly good for a quick bite. Possibly not. But yeah, I'll update you if anything good happens. And until then, ciao for now. Well, that's a turn up for the books. I was expecting the majority of the fish on this stretch to be two to three pound. This is four pound nine. Well, you can't fault that, can you? Uh, I've moved swims again. Uh, so I'm now going to get this back and try for another one. Here we go, look, fish number two. I'm gonna give him a quick weigh and a measure. Didn't take long, did it? Here we go, look. Fish number three, almost scale perfect. Absolutely lovely. Gonna weigh it and measure it. We'll go from there. Right, so after the palava of the swimmers, here we are, stretch number two. Uh, I think this is called Constable. It is called Constable. I'm calling it Constable. Uh, and yeah, I'm just tucked into a swim where I've had a chub out of before. I'm going to give it half an hour, something to eat in here, do the armistice silence. Uh, I've seen a few swims upstream, the ones that didn't nearly kill me, which look all right. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So hopefully I'll show you some more fish later. Until then, ciao for now. Right, there we go. Honor satisfied. Stay there, you little... There we go. £2.2, two, 17 inches long. All right, here's another one. £2.12 this time. They're getting bigger. However, it's nearly three o'clock. Well, so uh, I'm going to get him back and then uh, see if I can't get another bigger one. Uh, right, bit of an update. It's just gone half past three. Had two out of the last swim, but they were both really small. So rather than flogging it out, because uh, it meant standing in water up to my knees, I've come back to one of the earlier swims. However, I can't seem to make the line work properly. Something's changed. So I'm going to figure this out and have a cup of tea and then hopefully update you with the chub I'm after. I think I need to sort that rod out first though. Speak to you in a bit. 
Well, that wasn't on the menu. Right, there we go. Mission accomplished. Three pounds, two ounces, or three pound three, something like that. Uh, so yeah, that's a, a three pounder from this stretch. Uh, I can go home happy now. I'm not going to, I'm going to try and catch a bigger one. And if I do, and if I do, I'll show you. If I don't, I won't. All right, well, I've turned up on the Bristol Avon. It's a funny chocolate color tanking through. However, cheese paste has done it again. He's about a pound and a half, maybe two. Gonna get him weighed, measured, and uh, go from there. Right, update what I'm doing in a bit. Yeah, so welcome to the Bristol Avon, as I've already alluded to. I'm um, in my second swim. Picked this one. It's a really big slack underneath that bit of a tree down there. And I just fancied it to be able to chuck a bit of cheese paste in. I've got two swan shot on there. And I think it was second chuck. I've had a fish. Happy days. Weighed one pound five. There's a few bit bigger that I find today. I'll do for a start. Right. Hopefully I'll get some pictures of bigger fish later. Failing that, I will see you later. Ciao for now. Okay, and that one's like a chub, only smaller. Oh. Right, another swim move. I've moved a lot further downstream now, into a park. Uh, yeah, there's a more flow here than I was expecting. So I've just dropped into the first swim. I'm gonna give it 10 minutes, have something to eat, and then go back upstream where I actually fancy catching a fish. If I get one here, it'll be big though, to be fair. Uh, right, catch you later. Here we go. Besides the dogs, the flow and everything else, two and a half pound. Just measure it and get it back. Right, it's just coming up on half past four, so it's coming up on dusk. Uh, I'm going to be giving it another few hours, but I'm not going to be able to record much because it's going to be dark. So if, unless I catch something, I will see you on Friday when I will be on the Hampshire Raven. So until then, ciao for now. Right, good afternoon. It's now Friday afternoon and you join me back down on the Hampshire Raven. On one of my favorite little stretches. I've been here for well, a little while. In two of my favorite banker swims and I've not even had a proper, oh, not had a proper touch yet. I think that was weed or something. And uh, yeah, it's not boding well. The flow's very odd today. I think a tree's come down upstream. I can't quite see what's causing it, but it's pushed a long way across the river. And there's still a lot of weed in here, so I don't know. Anyway, enough whinging. Right, bit of an update. Uh, I'm in swim number three now. I've earmarked another two. Uh, I can't go any further up or downstream though because of the water levels and I've only got wellies. If I'd had waders I might have been able to get away with it. Definitely not going to be able to get away with it on wellies. So yeah, kind of stuck. I mean here I'm just dropping that underneath a tree in this margin. It's not really the one, it's a bit washing machine-y. I think it might go when it's dusk. I think everything's going to be duskish time to be fair. I'm going to go into my next swim, give that half an hour, and then it's nearly dusk time. So until then, ciao for now. Right, here we go. Finally had a bite. Five pound, ten ounces. Thank you very much. Uh, on the old faithful cheese paste. Oh, look at the width of it. Massive. This in the winter is going to be huge. Yeah, so there we go, another swim move and success at last. But I'm having to fish upstream in this swim. Uh, well, I'm fishing upstream at the moment. Uh, had another bang as well that I've just missed, having first chuck back after putting that fish away. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's just the right time of night now. Or I'm in the right swim, one or the other. I'm going to say it's a bit of both. Or I'm going to try and catch another one. If I do, I'll show you. If I don't, then I will see you tomorrow. Either way, ciao for now. How's about some of that then? Five pounds, three ounces. Thank you very much. Like buses. Check him out. Right, I'm gonna get him weighed, measured and put back.
Right, good afternoon. It's now Saturday afternoon, well, 12 o'clock, and I've just got to the river because I'm very naughty and I had a big lay in. Uh, I'm on the same beat I was on last week, but from the other side of the river, I was sat just to the left of that tree trying to catch out this slack. Like that. <laughs> Eh, well that'll do for a start, won't it? Here we go, not a bad little start. First chuck, first bite, £2.6. Right, I need to figure out where I can return this because I want to catch a few more. Speak to you in a sec. Here we go, look. Change of swim, change of fortune. £3.9 ounce, thank you very much. Right. Get this back and try and catch a bigger one. There we go, four pound three ounce, thank you very much. Once again, quick smooth, uh, swim move and a quick bite. So I'm gonna move again. Right, so I've come back to the swim in which I started to try and finish off. So I've had the three fish now, possibly two more bangs. Uh, so yeah, it's not been prolific, but it has been good. The good thing about fishing with cheese paste is that usually if you get a bite, you don't miss it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to have a cup of tea and some biscuits and then I'll get ready to pack up in the next 20 minutes and go home and cook tea. So in all, it's been a good afternoon. Right, I will see you Monday or Tuesday somewhere else flowing. Till then, ciao for now. Right, good afternoon. Join me on a, another different stretch of uh, the Salisbury Water uh, in pursuit of Chubb. This is right at the top end of all our coarse beats or mixed beats uh, on Lord's Walk. I've heard rumours of Chubb getting caught half a mile downstream, so I thought I'd give it a go. I think that might have been 20 years ago. But yeah, the water's up, it's coloured, tanking through. So it's about right for the Avon at the moment. Yeah, it's that bad. I need wellies everywhere. Ah, well. Uh, I'm fishing underneath a tree at the moment. I've got about another half a dozen swims I like the look of. And uh, we'll give it a go for a couple of hours. So if I catch anything, I'll show you. If I don't, I won't, and I will then. Uh, and if I don't, I will see you tomorrow somewhere else. So until then, ciao for now. Right. Good morning. You join me on one of the club stretches down near Fording Bridge. Uh, again, I'm chasing chub. I'm completely outgunned because I'm on my light gear. Uh, the river is up and tanking through. When I say it's up, uh, it's wet underfoot. The field behind me is also underwater. So yeah, we'll see how we do. I'm managing to hold bottom at the moment with four swan shot, which isn't too bad. Perfectly fishable. And I've got cheese paste on as usual. We'll see what happens. Give it a couple of hours down here and see if I move or not. There's plenty of options. Right, update if anything good happens. Right, so it's just kind of coming up on lunchtime. And as you can see, I've moved swims. I've tried a few now. And the increased water is making it challenging. Uh, however, I have had an eel out of here, which is a bit of a surprise. Uh, it's quite a big slack here to be fair, so I'm going to give it at least another hour in here and see what I can do, because I've got a lot of water to cover. Uh, and then I'm not sure what I'm going to do for this afternoon. I might move stretches, I might stay on here and just try to make it happen at dusk. Either way, if anything good happens I'll show you, and if it doesn't then I will probably see you tomorrow on the Bristol Avon. Right, well I got one, I uh, told you this swim looked good for it, £3.15 ounce, which puts it one ounce short of my target, uh, so I'm going to try for another, so I have to get this back somewhere where it's not going to spook these fish, so I'll see you in a bit. Here we go, double one, it's about time to be fair, uh, £4.2 two ounces this one comes in at, here we go, number three. Little pup, £2.10. Alright, I'm struggling a bit with wind, so apologies for the noise and camera. Uh, yeah, so I've had four fish now, three chub and an eel. The last two chub came out of this swim. Uh, only fishing two swan shot in here now. I uh, figured out that if I cast upstream and fish close in, that's where the fish seem to be. Uh, I've had a couple of other little indications as well. But I'm going to give it another 40 minutes in here. Oh, no, that's weed. 
another 40 minutes in here and then I'm going to go back to where I had the other fish and then I'm going to go home. Right, fish number five, chub number four. Uh, this one's three pound five ounces. I was thinking about a move, now I'm probably going to stay where I am. I don't know, I've got an hour. Right, I'll let you know if I catch any more. Right, it's just gone half three. I've decided to move back into this swim because I was getting bloody freezing in that last one. Wind was right off the field off my back. It's quite uncomfortable, even though I was getting a few bites. Uh, if nothing happens in 10 minutes, I'll either go home or go back down there. But yeah, it's been a really good day. Right, well, apologies for a bit of a teaser, but uh, this is a different river that you're going to see in the next video. Uh, the reason being, I've realised that I've got about 15 minutes of footage already. Uh, you're not missing much though. That looks like another six ounce chub hanging on the end of that. So I'm going to deal with that and I shall see you next month on Avoiding the Blank. Ciao for now.